I feel free to bare my skin. Yeah, that's all me. Nothing and me go hand in hand. Nothing on my skin. That's my new plan. Nothing is everything. Achieve clearer skin with Sky Rizzy. Three out of four people achieved 90% clearer skin at four months. Of those, nearly nine out of ten sustained it through one year. And Sky Rizzy is four doses a year after two starter doses. I see nothing in a different way. It's my moment, so I just gotta say, nothing is everything. Sky Rizzy may increase your risk of infections and lower your ability to fight them. Before treatment, your doctor should check you for infections and tuberculosis. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, such as fevers, sweats, chills, muscle aches, or coughs, or if you plan to or recently received a vaccine. Nothing is everything. Talk to your dermatologist about Sky Rizzy. Learn how Abvi could help you save. Can tell which Shaquille O'Neal is the real Shaquille O'Neal. Gotcha. For awesome photographic quality prints, Epson Eco Tank Photo Printer, baby. You get cartridges. You get big refillable ink tanks with six different colors of ink. And graphics and photos look amazing. Hello, Paris, wee oui, wee. Oui. Of course I can fit in this. Bloop, bloop. Hey, looks like my backyard. For eye-popping, truly stunning images, Eco Tank Photo, baby. Gotcha. Again, that's twice. The Epson Eco Tank Photo. Just fill and chill. We back. We back with another banger. Godfather himself, Kevin Sang, is about to school so some information, man. You know. But one of the first things I don't do is I don't judge why a person wants what they want. If women say they want a man who's six feet tall, six feet, okay, that's what you want. You just what you want. Same thing with a man. If that's what you want, that's what you want. But let's say the typical uh, attractive woman, what is she wanting? Well, her beauty is currency. Yeah. She wants a good. She wants a deal. Why not kind of giving guys how, however much her beauty's worth? That's how much she's looking for on the dollar side. Mm. So you can understand a, uh, I don't use sevens in my system. I've, it's hard to find a 10 these days. See, those kind of women true. have men throwing themselves, men with resources. There's always gonna be more resources. And I asked the guy, why do you want her more than anything else? And what these guys tend to want is they want her for acceptance. But here's the thing, I, I don't have a problem with hypergamy. Understand something. Women want you to be able to pay the bills, all of them. One of my most insightful questions I ask women, do you want to have to pay substantial bills after you're pregnant? And uh, out of the months of asking that question, I've had two women say, I don't mind. <laughs> do you want those problems? Because as a man who has dated beautiful women, I will tell you what I know more than anything else with men who have those kind of women, if it doesn't work out or they pick the woman for the wrong reasons, one of the first things they say, I just want somebody that's going to be nice to me. Mm -hmm. Human beings always want what they can't have, but it is a question is, why do you yeah, want we, we what you want? That. Yeah, so that's we, we a fantastic yes. question. Thank you, Godfather. We get it, my guy. Bl blessings, <laughs> Blessings. Bless blessings. Blessings. <laughs> it's just not. It's I not. think just in the few social circles that I'm in, yeah. like it's like a sport to like attract a woman, get her to your spot, and then secure the bag. That's like a fucking sport, my yeah. guy. It's a sport, and it's like, you almost like, you get celebrated when you're successful. Mm -hmm. It's like getting a touchdown. Mm -hmm. So in a sense, you, you do want to be celebrated. Why wouldn't you? You want to exercise your ability to attract the, the baddest female, the most exclusive type. Mm -hmm. So I get it to a certain extent, but it's like, the, why have we as a society made that the exclusive? Why is that the hardest one to get? Really, men just want it. We're both men and women wanting for a status symbol, but you don't know. I think that's part all, of it. I don't know if it's all of it. Not all of it, certainly part of it. And then, but you don't know all the negatives that come behind, which is why he just said, and why I've been trying to push for, for the past several months now, that most men, especially if you are seasoned, high value, someone who understands his worth. <laughs> you just, hey, by the way, Lowe's been trying to drive this point on the podcast for so for, long. I mean, so looks is, looks is, isn't as high as a lot of men and women want to acknowledge. And if you believe that to be true, I personally just believe you either A, do not have that much to lose, or B, you're just not that seasoned. You're not that high value, okay? Then go get that thing. 
Um, and what we're trying to do is help level set more guys to realize that, look, man, there, there is a lane for all of this. And here's the thing, uh, put it in the sales analogy. Big, big fish called whales accounts. Th that's a one-tenth of a percent chance that you get them. Shoot your shot, but don't bank on it because you'll go broke trying to close those things. See, what we don't want to tell people to do is find something to fit you because that sounds like you're settling and this and that. And I'm like, when, when did working on you, when did work say that you become such a bad thing? So that's a whole video in itself. Yeah, I, agree with <laughs> I, I agree. I don't understand why people try to do things out of their norm. Like yeah, most of y'all niggas is average. Y'all are normal human beings. There's nothing superior about y'all. Nothing crazy about y'all. Y'all are average people. That is okay, bro. And getting into a lifestyle that's average and getting into a marriage that's average and Having kids that are average is all fine. You may, you can, of course, push for better, and that's fine. But nine times out of ten, I not majority of the time, you're going to be average at a lot of things in life. I think, and, I and think, that's okay. I think the problem is a lot of people think uh, being above average is like necessary. And what the office taught me was that it's not necessary. It's not. It might. You might even be happier. In, in an average relationship. I believe most people are happier in an average relationship just because they don't understand all the things that come with being in an above average relationship or being with someone who is above average. If you as an individual were not willing to put the time, energy, and effort and make the sacrifices to be above average, why do you want to be with someone who does that frequently to stay above average? I don't... That's the part I just don't understand. Uh, we, can, we can go there. We can go there. Let's stay there because this leads me to what I've realized has gone on going back to the initial point about not being able to rank yourself. So mm -hmm. you're familiar with the idea of sort of mating, right? Yes. So basically, for people who don't know sort of mating, is that people want someone who's similar to them. Mm -hmm. If I'm Nigerian, I want Nigerian. If I'm mm -hmm. Catholic, I want a Catholic. I'm mm -hmm. Republican, I want a Republican. You usually want somebody similar to who you are. But the problem, what occurs now is, especially, we'll get to the women point later, so fellas, relax. <laughs> All right. what, what happens is when you view yourself as a top-notch male, yes, you then feel as though yes. mating what fits me, like you said, find someone who fits you. Now you feel like what fits me is a top-notch woman. Yes. And so you say, I don't want any of these adjustable sixes, mm -hmm. fives, I don't want anybody. I just want, I, I want the eights, nines, and ten because I, as a man, am an eight, nine, and ten. Right. And so well, that's one of the biggest things that I've been seeing going on is that a lot of people are not willing to be honest with themselves to see really what fits you. Yeah, well, you know what's dumb about this conversation? And they're making good points. Yeah. What they're saying is not dumb. But the conversation in totality, why it's dumb, is because if you want something, just position yourself to be able to attract it. Yep. No matter what it is, bro. For whatever reason, you want to date IG models, then you probably had to look good and have money or have access. You had to do something, my brother. Like, it's not just going to come. So if that's for whatever reason what you want, then just put yourself in a position to where, like, they will, on average, be attracted to you. Yep. Everyone's different. Everyone's going to have their own preferences. You might be white, and she only dates, like, Asian men. You don't fucking know, right? But you shoot your shot, and you play the odds. In reality... If you position yourself that way, and it, it, you might be the type of person, bro, where you will never be attractive to them. <laughs> it literally might be the case that you... I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. I've been waiting so long to use that in context, Jeez. my brother. And it's like, that's fine. So just why Why do you even want... Ask yourself the question, why? Along the lines of assorted of mating. Well, and it gets even deeper than that, the, because we have told everybody that it, everyone can win. So here's the thing. If you to get from time immemorial, beautiful, powerful men are around beautiful women. Okay, we understand that there's a standard. But see, here's the thing: if you've been told everybody can win, and you want the outcomes, the eight, nine, or the ten, but you don't have the high value resource that the group defines, you try to pay for it in different ways with um, um, swag, game. And, and, but it's all it's all like it's counterfeit currency mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, cool, you may be able to get her, but can you move in these spaces? Because when you go around these other men 